Sup guys, so, if you can read, I'm sure you looked at the title of this video and clicked and went, Yo, I wanna hear what the buzz is talking about, he's probably spitting. So yeah, let's get right into it. Actually, I lied, before we get into it, I gotta let you guys know. If you wanna support this channel, and you wanna see more Rivals 2 content, click that like button, and subscribe, just throwing that out there. Alright, I'll stop wasting your time. So, let's start off with the five things I like about this game. Number one. I think the visuals are just really good and it's one of these things that a lot of platform fighters don't do it well and then people don't talk about it enough when platform fighters do do it well which is the visuals right like this game just looks good the colors the art style the animations on characters i think are phenomenal and just like the general like designs the little like effects like that puddle when it pops and you see like, all little water splashing out oh it's just so good so yeah, I think this game nails it visually, and I think, I, I really think people need to give the game a lot more credit for its visuals. Coming from Ultimate, right? Having good rollback in a platform fighter is unreal, right? Because everyone's played Ultimate and gone, man, I lost because I'm fighting a Sonic Online in like 20 frames delay. So playing a game with amazing netcode, right? Like, every time I lose, you know, I'm like, oh, it's my fault. You know, I, I don't blame the game. It's just my fault for losing. I earn my wins. It feels so nice. And it's so impressive how well it's done. Like, playing 20 hours or so of this game, I've only had one match where the, the, the match felt like bad. The online felt bad, and I was prior to see Pond having bad connection. So, kudos to the dev team for doing that. I love how unique and in-depth every character just, like, feels, right? Like, like these movesets are really well designed. Like, Orkane's usage of the bubble, of uh, the puddles for all of his moves, but then also, like, Flying around with forward air, up air, like having like a hydroplaning, right? Be able to like angle the bubbles up and down as I use them. The air bounce, like there's so much going on in every character's kit. It's really cool, especially if you find a character you click with. There's so much to explore, and they feel nothing like any of the characters. So yeah, the, the character designs just great across the board. The 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 one thing I'm gonna say actually. Is I might not say that, but Claren, I haven't played much Claren, but Claren's one character that to me stands out as a little bit vanilla. Like the the tippers having electric effects are cool, but it feels out of place. Once again, I'm not a Claren player. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of things about the character I don't know. Movement, by the way, just general movement is also freaking sick. Like bro, Orcane flying across, you know, with the forward air and then like doing the ledge cancel. If I can do it right. Oh. Feels so good, right? Or just more general, like moving back and forth feels good, jumping around feels good. You got the wave dashing everywhere. So I can do this. Right? Uh, oh, there's just so much movement for the game. And so many places to learn. It feels freaking amazing. Like that, doing like the ledge drop, wall jump back here to get on stage. So yeah, and I think, uh, once again, a lot of platform fighters don't nail it. But the entire thing that makes platform fighters like good as a genre is good movement whether it's extremely fast like this or maybe more intentional like ultimate like good movement is what makes these games and they they got it i think the only thing is maybe i i wish you could instant back here out of like a turnaround from neutral like in ultimate i can do like dash forward dash back and neutral and get back here but here i have to either like turn around preemptively or like wait for my like fox trot animation which granted i'm sure is a workaround for it and that's like a very specific thing I want in the game. Because I'm an ultimate player. Woo! All right, and finally, the not the last thing I like, but the fifth thing for this list is I really love how active the, the studio lead, Dan Fornace, I think is how you pronounce it. Maybe it's just Dan Fornace, whatever it is. I, I love how active he is in social media and how much he jokes around. It just creates a good presence. Like the game came out, right? And he makes a tweet saying, the only mention of CC I want to hear is uh, your credit cards buying the game. And I'm like, I love it because it shows he's keeping up with the game, what people are talking about. You know, he's making jokes about it. Like, it's just, it's cool. It's cool that he's active, pays attention, and he just, I don't know, it's a good uh, presence. Now, on the things I don't like about the game, and I say these as points of criticism to improve the game because I want this game to succeed, right? And obviously, obviously, opinions, bias, all that stuff, I'm going to say things, you may not agree with it, who cares? So, first of all, I think half the stages in this game just suck to play on. That's it. Like, I look at these stages and I'm like, okay, we got Godai Delta, Hodojo, good stages. Merchant Port, even this 
one. I'm like, yeah, it's pretty decent. Jewel's Jewel, I like this one. But then, like, I, I don't like this stage. Aramada, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of. But then, like, the Hyporian Harbor, what, what, what is this? What, Fire Capital? I'm a lame player, right? So, when I play on this stage, it's some of the lamest games in existence. Rockwall? Oh my god, Rockwall. No, no. Even Tempest Peak, I'm like, eh. So, it's just like, a lot of stages I'm not a fan of. And I'm not sure if they can be, like, if it's just there. Tuned poorly, or if just, like, conceptually, they're not that good. And, but yeah, I, that's my thought. I think it's mostly the big stages. I feel like the big stages are a little bit too big. And... One of the reasons for that, and that goes to my next point, is that every character is frustrating in their own way to fight against. Which, you know, in order for a character to be good, they have to have strong tools which are frustrating the fight. So it's a necessary evil. But then there's some things that feel a little bit overtuned, even in that regard. Like projectiles across the board. Akima, I'm not that good at this game. I know that. I know I suck at this game right now. But projectiles across the board feel really strong. Parry is six frames. So it's hard to like use that as a reaction to projectiles that are not like kind of far away. So you're fighting stuff like Crag throwing rocks and mixing, mixing you up, or, or Kane throwing bubbles, uh, Zetterburn using the fireballs, or I was like jumping in. And it's like they're just really strong and annoying, but also hard to punish. And then uh, even without projectiles, characters like Claren just have these really massive low lag attacks that they, they can just kind of spam them so yeah i think that's my my point of frustration is that a lot of buns in this game feel very spammable in a not fun to fight against but also a bit mindless to use kind of way at least for a lower level player like me uh next thing floor hugging specifically i'm talking about like the after you get hit and you're reacting to getting hit by holding down I think it just feels a little too strong. Um, it's just not fun to fight against. I don't mind preemptive crouch canceling. I actually think, like, holding down in neutral if I expect someone to hit me. Awesome mechanic, right? It's kind of an alternative to shielding or parrying. So I'm specifically talking about the, oh, I messed up and I'm going to get punished for whiffing. Let me just hold down while I'm in my lag. Or hold down uh, while I'm pressing a button just in case my opponent's be during the button, right? Like, being able to kind of use it to just, like, option select a lot of situations in case you mess up. It doesn't feel great to fight against, and it feels a bit mindless to utilize. And I know that's a very hot topic that people have very mixed opinions on, especially the difference of like alt players versus like melee players. They, they, they just fundamentally disagree on this. And I'm an alt player, I'll admit it. I got used to the mechanic more, but yeah, my initial thoughts, not a fan. All right, Crag. I just hate Crag. Right? Can we all get a yeah, let's freaking go. We hate Crag. Woo! Okay, oh, now for real though, the fourth thing I don't like, and Crag is a good example of this, honestly, where there's like a weird balance of kill power in this game, where a lot of characters have the potential kill early with good juggles, edge guards, or just certain moves. But then at the same time, the opponent can live forever if you don't hit these specific sweet spots on a move, or moves they expect to scale a little bit harder, like Orkane's up air, don't quite scale as much as I'd like. And you factor that in with the fact that recoveries are, in my opinion, a little bit too long. I don't mind the mix-ups on recoveries. I actually love how characters have a lot of ways to recover. But all the ways always feel like they go a bit too far. Especially when you have, you know, the ledge as well. Ledge snaps are pretty well designed in terms of, like, the distance you snap from. But yeah, sometimes it feels like just killing can be a bit of a crack shoot. Where sometimes you kill people like 40. And sometimes you can't kill them to 160. So just normalizing that across the board somehow would be nice. And I do know as people get better at the game, it's very likely they can take stocks earlier or more consistently. So skill issue, but a point of frustration nonetheless. Like, you know, my perspective on a lot of things is just Orkane pretty much. I don't really like any of the character that much in this game. So yeah. And finally, and I've kind of hinted at this a little bit, where I feel like... There is a small but vocal part of the community that tries to gatekeep aggressively, right? Like melee players being like, oh my god, alt player opinion, yada yada. Or rivals one player, oh my god, smash players. Right? Like you just you just get a lot of different communities playing this game because it's freaking awesome. And 
you have a small group of those people really just hating on others like for the game they played or maybe for their skill level whatever it is where i feel like we need to look down on that more as a community right we need to go hey dude shut up <laughs> no reason to be a dick because you want people to play your game right you want people to get in and have a positive response even if you don't agree with their opinions but don't hate on the person just because you don't agree with their opinion that's one of the easiest ways to keep people from uh, coming back to your game and hinder your own community you want your community for the game you like to grow you know uh, that, that's that's really it it's something i've really seen like you know when i was doing like my uh, my thread with leffen on twitter and some people are just like oh my god oh imagine we made the game that the buzz actually likes it, it would suck oh, oh, old players our oh, rosalina player right that's just my personal experience i'm used to it i get it but it, it sucks to see it happening to other people as well who don't deserve it but yeah that's just my thoughts overall except phenomenal game and all these criticisms are meant to make this game grow into something that lasts long and people just love maybe show the the smash team hey there's actually competition to uh platform fighters now now with all that said i want to hear what you guys have to think let me know in the comments below if you agree disagree what are the things you like and dislike well the thing is you would change about the game if you could or if you just wouldn't change anything at all yeah catch you guys later and also if you want to check out some rivals gameplay i am streaming this game pretty regularly